All right, so here we go. My two reference 12 inch HO subs have arrived and they look, the boxes look like they've seen better days. If I don't look that good, I've only just woken up probably 15 minutes ago. Seen these, look at that, it's not even in there. Seen these and straight away had to make the video. I don't look very pretty at the moment, so I apologize for that. But here we go, my new subs have arrived. Jesus, that is heavy. All right, let's get the second one out. All the boxes and stuff to the side without hitting my tripod. <laughs> that it barely even sealed properly now. I actually would have thought Parts Express would have put a little bit more effort into the packaging, but that's just what I personally thought. My other stuff from Dayton, when that, oh, when that arrived, had a bit better packaging on it, but that's okay. As long as they're not broken. So here it is. The reference HO 12 inch sub. Oh my God, the motor on the back of this thing is huge. Oh, these subs look nice. Ooh, they are stiff too. Wow, what a nice looking sub. I'm just checking for any shipping damage at the moment. So this is the first thing you should do when you get a new sub is just check over it, make sure there's no visible damage, and then uh, test it out, make sure everything. So this one here is the one that wasn't packaged great. So I'll just quickly give this one a quick check over. Judging, oh wow. I put my spare camera battery to the side and it managed to make its way into that bag. Again, nice and stiff. Doesn't feel to be any like coil rub, so the magnets aren't off center. We've got what looks to be no damage on this one. Judging by the build, I don't think you'd be able to break these very easily at all. But here are the two new HO 12 inch subs of mine. Oh man, these things look nice and they are so stiff. So now I'm gonna start hooking them up to this CV2800 just here. And then once I do that, I'll start breaking them in and uh, I'll put a little bit of excursion in this video but I will make a dedicated how to break in your subs video. So if you guys wanna see that, chuck a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and comment down below how keen you are to see these subwoofers playing real low frequencies, because these things, oh my God, they look so nice. Anyway, with that being said, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in uh, the next video, but this is not gonna end here, I don't know why I was out trying it. I'm gonna show some excursion of these things and then we'll call it quits on this one. Alright, so now I'm just gonna quickly test both the coils on each subwoofer just to test that they are both working and that they're definitely not damaged in any way and the coils aren't hurt or anything. So I'm gonna start with this one and I'm start with this coil just here. I'm gonna crank my CV2800 up right now. Uh, let's hook this up and uh, let's see which one's positive and negative. Okay. So definitely not how you do it with alligator plugs, but it's the only way I could extend the thing from over there, which is where I have it set up. Uh, so when I can install actual sub boxes, I'll have just the right amount of wire. But uh, anyway, I can feel it's moving. Let's give it a little bit of power and see how this thing handles. clean oh my god and they're gonna do the other coil and I'm gonna do the co both coils on this one I'll cut back once I've done that and I'll tell you if they're working and I'll start blaring some music through these things <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
bitch, we skip lunch. I remember reminiscing in the kitchen lunch. I wonder when them braids gon' lift. I wonder when them falcons gon' get him. So there it is, my two new subwoofers, the Dayton Reference Series HO Dual Voice Coils, 700 watts RMS a pop. Uh, there it is, there's my first initial video and some excursion playing through these things. I hope you guys understand how hard it is to capture excursion on a camera. It's just impossible, especially when I'm like up close like I was, it kept putting it out of uh, focus. So by the end, I was just trying to autofocus, which is kind of hard without focus peaking. So sorry about the focus, but you still got a rough estimate as to the excursion. Holy crap, these things move. And I haven't broken them in one bit yet, so I wasn't pushing them super duper hard. If you want to see the video about me breaking subs in, I'm going to start shooting that today as well. But with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I hope you guys are looking forward to these subwoofers as much as I am, because just listening to them free air and putting my head close to them, you just hear the low notes absolutely screaming. They are so loud on the lows. But with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like the video because it's new subs and it's the start of something new. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.